Hello and welcome. So today we are going to walk through setting up a local LLM uh, directly within your Obsidian Vault. So I am using, uh, I don't know why I close that, but I am using the Copilot plugin uh, within Obsidian and I use LM Studio to have the local model uh, directly on my computer. So for those of you that haven't used it, I'll just give you a quick example. We'll open up our uh, Copilot right here and we'll just say, I don't know, hey, tell me a bit about whose character, Mark Jeffrey. Uh, we'll take the note, Mark Jeffrey. Tell me a bit about Mark Jeffrey. So he is going to think for a minute here. So, okay, so he's going to come back with all this information about the character Mark Jeffrey. Just everything you can find about him, what it knows about him. But in order to set this up, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to lmstudio.ai and we need to download LM Studio directly to our PC. And then once we've gone ahead and done that, we are going to be met with LM Studio. So when you open it up for the first time, this is what you're met with. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come over here to the Discover tab and we're going to open that up. And what this does is this opens up the uh, search for all of the models that you're able to install directly onto your PC. And just for this, uh, for this video here, I am just going to pick uh, the Google Gemma 3N E4B one um, only because the file size is only about four gigabytes. I like that. So I'm going to come over here to the green uh, download button and I'm going to download this and uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to fast forward here. It's important to note that you need a relatively decent PC in order to run these local models uh, directly off your computer. Uh, just keep that in mind. However, I'm assuming if you made it this far into your hunt of setting up this project for yourself, you already kind of know that. Okay, so our download has completed, so we'll, let's close out of this. And then after that has finished downloading, um, we come up here to our My Models tab, the little folder icon, and in LLMs, we will see the one we just downloaded. Uh, here is our Google Gemma uh, 4B. And then if we come up here to our Developer tab, and we come over here to select a model to load, and we load the one we just installed. If you need to, you can adjust the context length uh, per prompt. Yeah, per prompt. And the GPU offload is how much power you're going to allow this model to use. And I think I'm going to just knock this down a little bit so it's not using the full thing. And it'll do 25. And then I'm just going to go ahead and load the model. The other thing to mention is um, you may have noticed when we went to load our uh, Gemma uh, AI, you notice there's another one here. This is our embed into Obsidian. This is how we get the AI to uh, connect with Obsidian using this gnomic embed. And this is how it can index the notes and you can query directly. I just got it from the discover tab as well. Just it's in, it's up in here. Okay. So we have those two installed. Uh, they're both ready and we're going to go ahead and I am going to turn on my server. And if everything is working as it should down here, you should see server started just in time model loading active. And then over here, I can see it's running on my proper local host. So this is now reachable at this address. This is just telling us that these are, are basically ready to go. Um, if we want to do a quick test run, we can come up here to our chat tab. And we can create a new chat with our new uh, Google Gemma AI. And let's ask it a question. What is it giving me? What is the capital of France? And it's going to do its thing right here. And yeah, it didn't, didn't take too long. Didn't really give me a lot of information, but. And there you go. And I'm just having a conversation now about the city of Paris. All locally. And this is all just on my, on my own PC. I'm running the Gemma 4B. And it's going pretty smoothly. It's all, it's running quickly. Uh, it, it, it didn't take too long to think. Okay, and then jumping back over into our Obsidian Vault here, uh, we're gonna click on our little cog wheel here, and we're gonna go to Community Plugins. We're gonna go to Browse, and we're just gonna look for Copilot. Oh yeah, there it is right there, Copilot. That's the one we want. I already have it installed, but you can go ahead, uh, activate it, enable it, 
And then we're going to come back into uh, our community plugin settings down here. Uh, we're going to go to Copilot. And if you have Copilot Plus or anything like that, you can enter it here, enter your API keys, anything like that. But for us here, we're going to go to the model tab and you're going to see a list right here of the uh, models that come with uh, Copilot already. Um, but I don't want any of these. So I am going to just uncheck, disable all of these. So I have, I have all the models unchecked and I want to add my own custom model. So I'm going to click add custom model here. And then for the model name, um, it's the Gemma one. So I'm going to call it Gemma, uh, the provider we are using LM studio for this. And, and then I want to jump back over to LM studio really quickly here. And just make a note of the server address just right here and just make sure that it's the same here. So I'm just going to leave this blank. I haven't changed anything with it. Uh, it's still localhost 1234 by default. Okay, so we have the name Gemma. We have the provider LM Studio. Uh, I'm leaving this blank. I do not have an API key for LM Studio. If you have one, you can enter it here. Um, this doesn't activate anything. All it does is put a little icon so you can see what it is capable of doing. Um, our, for our instances, the Gemma model that we have can do both of these. So I'm just going to tick them. I'm going to hit verify to make sure there's no issues. Okay, and you'll see up here model verification successful and I'm going to add the model. And there we go, we have Gemma right there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to our embedding models here. And I'm gonna jump back into LM Studio really quickly here. There it is. Okay, so uh, this was the embed model that I downloaded earlier. Um, just as a quick review, it's the Gnomic. This one right here, it's the Gnomic Embed Text version 1.5. That's the one that I have installed right now. I already used this one, so I can't download it again, but this is the one that I have installed. And it installs and downloads the same way as the uh, Gemma model that we just put on. So now I already have it installed here, but I'm going to delete it and I will walk you through it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add custom model and we'll call this, uh, we'll call this one embed and uh, we, it's LM Studio. Everything else I'm gonna leave the same. I'm gonna hit verify. Model verification successful, very good, add. Okay, so this is our embed model right here. So because we did this, um, we can now index within the Copilot plugin and index our entire vault. Okay, and then we're gonna come back to our basic tab up here and I'm gonna wanna change my default chat model here. Uh, let's make it my new Gemma one. And my embedding model will make it the new, uh, the new one we just set up and we're gonna have to rebuild our index. And there it goes. So now it's starting to index. Okay, index completed successfully. And it does this locally, so it doesn't send your data out anywhere or do anything. And then in your basic tab, you can uh, set your default mode. I'm gonna keep mine on chat just because that's what I use most. Um, you can change where you wanna open it and just a bunch of different settings, but you can go through this and peruse at your own leisure. The only other thing I usually do in the settings is uh, I go over to the advanced and I make sure that enabling encryption is on. I don't have API keys right now hooked up to this, but if I ever do, I just wanna make sure I have my encryption on. And then everything else can just be left the way it is and we'll close out. So depending on how long it takes to index your vault, um, it could be a little bit depending on how big it is. It could be re really fast. Ours is done. So um, we have Gemma installed. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find my little open copilot chat icon and I'm going to click it and I'm going to come down here and we already have Gemma connected here and I'm going to say, hello, Gemma. All right, and there's Gemma right there. Tell me about uh, Mark Jeffrey. And there you go. Working away, reading from my vault, reading all the information that I have. I can talk to it directly. Give me some good storylines featuring... 
Mark Jeffrey. You want to type the notes in Markdown as you do. There. And it's a good it's a good little assistant. It's a good little it's something to bounce ideas off of. It's handy to have, to be honest. And that's about it. That's how you set it up within uh, Obsidian. There are, of course, different ways you can do it. Uh, there is a lot more uh, fine tuning involved that you can do. What I tried to do here was just kind of give you a base outline of how to get it up and running properly within your vault. After that, take it and do whatever you need to do with it. My name is Mark with Pratt Design, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.